Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night. It's me, Alex. How are you? Let me know how you're doing down below in the comments. Anyway, today's video is gonna start off with me telling you guys that, well, I got some beauty bolts for the license plate. We deleted the rusty ones. Um, where do they get them from? The Mark V. Don't judge me. My speakers are blown. And fixing that is part of today's video. Shout out to TLC Team Motorworks. They always send me packages. They part out vehicles, basically any generation. Mark IVs are a specialty, but you can get TT parts, you can get Mark VI parts, you can get Mark V parts. Today, they sent me Mark VI door speakers. My Mark VI has the Fender door speakers in it, so I kind of wanted to keep it OEM. As far as all the wiring and stuff like that goes, I don't want to have to splice anything in. I want to keep it OEM. The Fender package is so nice, and I'm not too big into hacking wiring in a car. It's uh, not my thing. So for now, I'm going to keep the OEM head unit, and I'm going to run the OEM door speakers. I'm not too sure if these actually are even Fender door speakers, but I just said if you guys have door speakers from a Mark VI, send them over. I can't listen to any more scratchy music. So they sent them over. We got some tools. We're going to install them. And once again, thank you to TLCT Motorworks. They always hook me up with a discount. They're great to me. They're just a small little mom and pop part out shop. So if you guys want to buy anything, I'll link their Instagram down below and you can pick your own stuff up. But uh, let's jump right into this. Well, I didn't even make it two seconds into ripping this door card apart. And I found this receipt from getting gas in 2020, $15 for five gallons of diesel. I miss those days. I don't even want to look at you. I got the super extendo going right now. Take no chances, no losses. Just a little part of reference, no matter when you're working on anything, just stick the bolts in some cardboard. They stand up, you can grab them easily, and you can even label them. Also, shout out to Nick. He gave me one of his Harbor Freight Pry tools like three years ago, and I never gave it back. Um, love you, Nick. You're probably going to watch this because you're one of my best friends. Uh, I'm sorry I never gave it back, but, you know, it went to a good cause. Watch me break this. Oh, my God, I almost broke it. We're good. This is why I need a filmer. I'm literally filming off of my iPhone and I'm trying to get this clip for you guys. I'm trying my best. I'm holding a phone in my hand. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my god. Oh. If you couldn't guess what I was saying, I was saying, I'm holding my phone in my mouth. I'm trying to get this. I got it. And I suspect this has been a part before because, uh, well, there's there's some broken clips in here and we didn't hear anything snap, so. Anyone want to tell me? Tell me something? All right, maybe, maybe I broke these and I just didn't hear it, but there's there's rust on the inside, so that means that there's no contact for a couple years, so we're going to blame the previous owner. Also, shout out to Volkswagen for changing the bit size in each one of these door card bolts. <laughs> Awesome that something like that. And then my favorite door panel, the crackheads at Volkswagen decided it'd be great to make this thin piece of plastic removable to get to some bolts. So, uh, yeah. uh, we got that off, scratch free. You think I would do that? Oh my God. Oh, Dr. Extendo. And then there's one last bolt behind there, which, you know, we're just gonna, they say to use a pry tool online, but we're just gonna use my fry fingers. Come on, you mother effort. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. What's behind door number th through? Oh, there, there you are. There you are. Trusty, dusty, and uh, musty. Oh my God. Am I missing a bolt? Oh, I'm probably breaking this thing. Oh my. All right, well, I found this bolt. It's in the bottom of the door card. So I'm just gonna rip this thing off with a pry tool. All right, we got an operative on the inside. Let's pull. Oh, that. All right, let's twist. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got it, baby. We got a clip off, I think. Oh my God, it wasn't recording, but. I yanked it off. These went flying. Don't worry. The other door is going to get a yank as well, so you're not missing out on anything. All right. That's a little bit of a performance for you guys. A little kick and a bash. Get it off the seal. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of wires. 
Come on, you piece of fucking. There we go. One more bite. Oh, that would have me so cool if it lined up on time, but it's a you piece of fucking. There, I, I got it. I don't feel like messing with that song. We don't want this sit and hang and dangle and put all the pressure on there. And we're just, we're just not gonna worry about that. Hey, there you are, bud. Give her the old two fister. The old two fister. Yeah, 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 yeah. You piece of fuck. You piece of, you piece of absolute trash, garbage. You mother. What's inside of here? Let's find out. Let's see. I know what's inside this speaker. Oh, yeah. You want to make noises and you want to make it not work? Oh, I think I cut myself. I hope, I hope those wires weren't needed. I'm gathering rings. Come on. There you go. We're just gonna hit this. That's what I wanted. And then these poor rivets have to get bashed out or something. You know, I'm making a mess. It's not, it's not often you get to fit the whole fist in. Oh, oh, this one's molten lava. Ta-da! 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 Oh my god, you get to it already. I do have to say, PLCT, they know how to box stuff up. Every time I get it, it's always packaged real nicely. Look at this, bubble wrap and ceram wrap. So like I said, this probably wasn't gonna be a fender package. There's not a lot of cars have fender package speakers. Um, and I got these for a great deal. So these are gonna sound just as good as those, honestly. These are a Fender speaker. These are just a common Mark VI speaker, Mark V probably even they fit. But um, I'm kind of amazed that the seal here is like brand new. Like if you flip mine over and you look at it, it's all compressed. Where this one is like they put it on there and then they install it into the car like weeks later and it just, it doesn't stick to there. So I thought that's pretty cool about the Fender package ones, but let's throw this in. Now, theoretically, you could just self-tapper the speaker into the door, but I went ahead and ordered this off Amazon. There'll be a link below if you guys want a rivet gun. It's like 20 bucks, maybe even less, so. Nice little rivet piece. Comes with all these different sizes. And then packed in the back of the box, comes with all these different other rivet sizes. So let's find the rivet size we need. Now a little test fit. This thing's, this thing's pretty nice. Pray for me, because I'm doing this one-handed to film it for you guys. Oh my God. First little clip, snap. Oh, this is a two pump and dumper. Come on, oh yeah. Oh, it didn't even work, it didn't even work. All right, well this is a hide nothing channel. The rivets didn't work. And um, this fell off the back due to my negligence, honestly. I was trying to, you know, get this rivet out hold on it this thing swung and uh, it broke off it, it wasn't even a violent you know incident but it's the way it goes so that's trash this one isn't though it's still packaged this will plug right into the side so we're gonna do this side but I just want to point out the fact that this like sealant here is really thick and the uh, the rivet it doesn't get any sort of hold on the back here because as you can see it doesn't even extend past that sealant and it can't get a good grab on this lip. Um, long story short, either need long rivets or you gotta do what I'm about to do. Gotta break out the big dogs today. So yeah, overall, the rivets are a no-go. The self-tappers are great. I didn't know if I was gonna go that route. I've seen people go that route, but now I see why the sealant it just doesn't let you do it. But if you need the Riveter, I'll link it below because it's a great piece. I love it. I use it for everything else. Um, and the self-tappers, they look great. They work great. You'll never see them and uh, they'll hold forever. So I consider it a dub. I'll just message TL 
they'll send me a new speaker for the passenger side, but the driver's side was the real issue when it came to bass, so let's throw this door back together. Oh yeah, she works. And the passenger side doesn't. Oh, filming that <laughs> is like such a process. I hate clips. And literally just get all these door clips back in. My uh, favorite method is. All right, sounds good to me. Broken clip. No issue. Okay, let's be a little gentle with this. We want it to hold. All right, well, 10 minutes of battle after. Later. Oh my God. Oh my God, it popped out again. I tried the back in first. Now we're gonna try the front. Okay, that's all it took. Just a little bit of a pry tool. Get it in there like a shoehorn. Boom, boom, baby. I'm not happy with my performance, but <laughs> oh. fresh clip, fresh clip, missing a clip. I found it on the ground. Oh. And just like that, She's installed. And yes, I made a mess out of this place, but you know what? It was a satisfying install, much needed. These speakers have literally been blown for over a year, probably close to two years. And it was just as simple as calling TLCT up, getting the parts and installing them. I did break that speaker. I did break that speaker, but I already messed with them and they're gonna be sending me another one out of another parts car in the morning. So I'm gonna get that part. We're gonna be rocking and rolling on the passenger side and uh, more boxes come for all these cars. Like we're stacked up. All right, well, thanks for watching. Even though we broke the speaker, it's no big deal. We at least got the driver's side in. We'll get the passenger side in another day. TLC's gonna send us a new one. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, it's something simple, something fun, and uh, something for you to enjoy. So, um, month of freedom, that's no, Cletus. But uh, I'll try to get you guys a bunch of videos out. Maybe one, maybe two videos a week. Nothing too crazy, but remember, your vehicle is unique to you. Don't even put you down. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep rocking, keep rolling, and uh, Rip those back roads. Peace.